Janet Crum, class of 1966, is a 45-year volunteer member of the Union Fire Company. She has been recognized as a leader in training, initially in first aid, CPR, and emergency medical services, and now in the election services. Currently, she is an election investigator with the Mercer County Board of Elections. In high school, Janet was in chorus and active in sports. Although too short to play basketball and too uncoordinated for field hockey, she served as team equipment manager for the girls' sports during her years at Central High. She also enjoyed science, joining the local 4-H entomology club and winning the New Jersey State 4-H Fair with her collection in her senior year. While in high school, she took a first aid course at the Titusville Firehouse and was impressed with how her neighbors volunteered to help others in her community. Shortly after, she joined the Union Fire Company and Rescue Squad and became a volunteer herself. Janet has held every squad office from Emergency Medical Services Crew Chief to over a dozen years of the EMS Chief for Union. She helped her community by responding to thousands of emergency calls in the Hopewell Valley area over a 40-year period, from a simple fall to multiple fatal motor vehicle accidents to delivering a baby on the living room rug. After 9-11, she was part of an EMS crew assigned to assist at Ground Zero in New York City. The article she wrote about that experience was published in the International Journal of EMS Educators, the Hopewell Valley News, and posted on the website of an international EMS textbook company for many years. After graduating from Central High School, Janet attended Strayer College in Washington, D.C., and then returned home to work for the New Jersey State Police in the superintendent's office. She worked with the state police for over 12 years and left to go back to school full-time, earning both bachelor's and master's degrees from Trenton State College, now the College of New Jersey. She was selected as Grand Marshal for the commencement exercises. Janet holds the copyright for an emergency services patient assessment video she produced as part of her master's thesis research project. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Janet worked in banking and finance. She became an adjunct professor at Trenton State College, teaching students basic and instructor-level first aid and CPR courses. At the same time, Janet was the office administrator for the Mercer County Republican Committee and enjoyed learning the details of the election process. After this, Janet had a smooth transition to the Mercer County Board of Elections staff as an election specialist responsible for hiring, training, and assigning over 700 election workers throughout Mercer County. She worked to overhaul the county election training program and is now asked to assist other counties in this area. Janet was re recently elected treasurer of the New Jersey Association of Election Officials. Throughout her EMS career, Jan has been recognized as an outstanding educator and volunteer in emergency medical services. She coordinated EMT training in Mercer and Huntington counties and has enjoyed the highest student passing rate in the state for those courses. Many of her students have gone on to become professional EMTs, paramedics, nurses, and doctors. Part of her time has been devoted to mentoring and encouraging EMTs. Crum is also a member of the Pegasus CISD team assisting other counties in emergency critical incident stress debriefings. In the early 1990s, she oversaw the pilot program on revamping the, med on revamping the emergency medical technician refresher training, providing valuable input and direction to the state of New Jersey. She has received service awards from the American Red Cross, the American Heart Association, the New Jersey, Fir the New Jersey State First Aid Council, Chemical Bank, the Hopo Valley Lions Club, and the Hopo Valley Republican Association. Jane has enjoyed a number of diverse experiences over, over the years, always looking to expand her knowledge base. In 1970, she flew to Bangkok, Thailand, attended the royal wedding of her Strayer College roommate to the son of Thailand's prime minister, and even had the opportunity to ride on an elephant. In 1973, she won the New Jersey State Women's Bowling Championships in singles and team. She enjoyed bowling for many years until an injury from a capsized sailboat accident sidelined that activity. In the summer of, 18, of 1983, Janet assisted the University of North Carolina in native species research, tracking and trapping black bears in the Great Smoky Mountains. Janet trapped the largest bear during this work and was interviewed by Good Morning America as part of a live out in the field series on how people spent their vacations. During the black bear research, she was introduced to an unusual instrument, the hammered dulcimer. Upon her return from North Carolina, she purchased a hammered dulcimer, taught herself to play, and to this day is sought to perform at various functions in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania area. 
Throughout her life, Crum has felt that learning is an ongoing process, that encouraging and assisting others to stretch from their comfort zone is important. She has, she has enjoyed watching the new rescue squad members evolve from somewhat timid individuals into highly competent and self-assured emergency professionals. Working closely with others in emergency situations can be challenging on many levels, but knowing that you are able to help someone in their time of need is priceless. Congratulations, Janet Crum, on your induction into the Hopewell Valley Central High School Distinguished Graduates Hall of Fame. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you are awake. I like that. Um, I want to thank Hopewell Valley for this opportunity to come before you and for this program. I, when the principal called and said that, left a message on my machine asking me to call him, I thought, I must have forgotten to return a book. I couldn't figure out why the principal of the high school would be calling me. It made no sense, but now it does. And um, with the way technology is now, I wrote notes on this because when I was in school, we didn't have any of these things. So I want to thank you all for this opportunity. Forty plus years in EMS, I never thought that would happen. When I first started, I really was scared and thought that I was doing it by myself, but very quickly found that it was a community and that people work with each other. I was doing things that I never thought were possible and working with others that came to be like black bear trapping, playing the hammer dulcimer, and other things, riding an elephant. Who would have thought those things would evolve through, through my lifetime? In high school, I was not an honor student either. I was not in the low, and I was not in the high. I was just kind of in the middle and got through things, and then on to college. I have always thought that learning is a lifelong experience, and that you should challenge yourself to try new things. And I challenge you to stretch beyond your comfort zone, to try something you never thought you would do. Coming out of high school, who would I, I never thought I'd do research with the University of North Carolina, or that I would get to go to Thailand, or any of those things. But those were things by stretching and going beyond what you think you're capable of, there is a lot out there that you can accomplish. And I hope that each of you, as you go forth, when you're done in high school here and go on to whatever your future may hold, right now you might think it's math or the sciences or biology, and by the time you get to be 4,000 years old like me, you'll notice that um, what you started with is a lot different than what you end up with. But along the way, your family and your friends, they are your support and they're the ones that will help and encourage you in all that you do. I thank you for this opportunity, and I wish you all well in your education. Thank you. 